What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. I know it has been over a year, I think at least a year, and uh, I haven't made a single video. And I have a couple of good reasons. I won't really get into that. Um, I just wanna get right to this. So you're here to see what is my everyday carry, and I'm about to show you. All right guys, so everyday carry, this is what I carry just about every single day. There are uh, two variations to it, so I will show you each of those. It's really just changing up the firearm a little bit, um, but I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. I did take you guys' feedback over the last year, and I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so you can get a better uh, view of all of the stuff that I carry so that it's not uh, you know just me talking the whole time. So let me bring it a little closer. All right, so I got you a little bit closer, so I'm gonna go over everything that's in my pockets, uh, everything that I carry on me. Uh, just about every single day. Of course, guys, there are times when you throw on shorts and you just head out the door uh, and you don't have it on you. So um, for the most part, this is what I carry. So this is my right hand. This is my what's in my right hand. So this right here is an Emerson slash Kershaw blade. Um, so this, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I've been carrying it for about a year and it's held up really well. Uh, the only complaint that I have is it's a little bit wobbly um, right here. So that the blade moves around more than I would like it to. And, um, you know, the cool design is that, um, as you'll see right here, it has this hook and that hook right there is designed to catch on your pants. So essentially it goes in your pocket like this. And when you pull it out, let me see if I can get the focus. There it goes. When you pull it out, this little spot here catches on your pants and, uh, it's supposed to open it. So essentially when you pull it out of your pants, it's supposed to do that and automatically deploy. So that is a, a really cool thing. The problem that I have is when you're not just trying to deploy it as soon as you pull out of your pocket and not look like a psychopath in front of people, um, you do have to be very careful when you pull it out. I have to go in my pants like this and grab, close the blade and just pull straight up. Uh, and that allows me to pull the blade out without uh, deploying it. Now, the other problem I have with it is that um, it's not spring loaded. So uh, when I first got it for the first like six months, it was almost impossible, not impossible. It was difficult to uh, get this to open. So. Um, I wish it was spring loaded. I do think that'd be a much better feature. Um, it also has this very odd, let me see if I can show you. This uh, tab right here is what you get your finger caught on. Uh, I don't think it's great um, for, for deploying the blade. Um, I think there's just a lot of things that could be better about this, but still a great blade. Um, so this is part of my kit. Next up in my right pocket, I am a type one diabetic, which I probably have discussed on the channel before. So at all times I must carry this. This is a uh, insulin uh, pump. This just basically keeps my, um, my sugars from getting too crazy. I give myself insulin, whatever, but that I have to carry every single day. So that is always on me. All right, guys, and next up is my flashlight. This is the flashlight that I carry on me every single day. This is the Through Night. This is the Black Scout survival version. Let me see if I can get that to focus for you. Yeah, there's the logo. So um, Black Scout survival um, and Through Night kind of partnered up for this little light. And it's a really, really cool light. It's super small, which I love. Um, it's smaller than my thumb. Um, so you can you know, stick this in your pocket. Uh, it's got a clip on it, which is great. It also has a front clip. So you can hook it to your hat, which you have to kind of separate this. But the great thing is, is it does allow you now to be hands-free, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, it does have three modes uh, and it does have memory. So whatever you turn it on the last mode, it does memorize that. And if you hold it again or keep it held, it gets brighter and hold it again, it gets even brighter. So I typically keep it on the lowest setting. And that is so if I ever need to get something and there's people around, I don't draw a ton of attention with a super bright flashlight, but uh, this is a great little flashlight. Oh yeah, bonus where the Black Scout Survival um, logo is, it's actually magnetic. So while there's nothing, let's see, actually, nope, there it goes. It'll literally stick to something that's metal. So my flash hider right here is metal, so it'll stick to that. And uh, you can mount it on something and point it in the direction that you, can, that you need it to use it. It's a, a really, really cool flashlight. All right, so next up in this pocket is my iPhone XR. Um, you may be wondering why I don't have a newer one, and that's because of the software updates that included the COVID tracking. I know they say you can turn it off, uh, but I don't, I don't trust it. If they put it on there, they probably have a way to access it. Um, so this is really outdated software on here. Actually, some of the apps that I use, I can't even update them because the software is that far out of date, but 
Either way, it's my iPhone XR. It's how I get around. It's how I communicate. Um, and you know, I'm looking at other options as I move forward. But at this, this point, I've been an iPhone user for so long, I don't know that I could ever change that. All right, and last but not least, outside of keys, who wants to see a bunch of keys? All I do is keep keys on a ring. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I just keep a leather wallet. It's fairly small. I like small wallets. I don't like a big chunky wallet. I only keep what I need in here. I keep $100 in here and I keep uh, cash and I keep obviously my credit and debit cards. Uh, uh, driver's license, my concealed carry, all of that lives in this wallet. All right, guys, so now on to the good stuff. So what you came here for. So I mentioned earlier that I have two systems uh, that I switch on and off, and so it depends on what I'm doing. If I know that I am going to be um, just in, just going in and out of stores where I can't carry a backpack or something like that, uh, I'll get to the backpack part in, in a minute because you probably think that's odd. Um, I carry this right here, which you've all seen on the channel before. This is my Polymer 80 in Glock 26. So I'm not gonna clear it. Um, if you think that it's not cleared, that's your own problem. Um, but I don't, I don't have to show you anything. So this is the Glock 26 that you've seen in the videos before. Uh, it is a, an amazing firearm. I have shot hundreds of rounds through this. I've never had a single failure. I keep the Olight Mini Valkyrie on there. I love that little flashlight. It's super bright, um, easily accessible. I also keep an extended magazine in there. Uh, that way I have the, the, so my finger can reach and plus, you know, more rounds the better. So that right there is my everyday carry. Now, if I know um, that I'm gonna be bringing my backpack, this right here usually uh, stays at home. So everything on this, uh, this Glock has been done by me. Uh, it's Polymer 80, this is a Rock Slide USA um, slide and I've never had any issues with it. The only problem I would say is their barrel continues to wear, but other than that, uh, an amazing, amazing, I love this firearm. So I keep that firearm in a Kydex holster. Uh, this right here I got off of Etsy. There's a guy who makes uh, Kydex holsters on Etsy. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this holster. It was fairly inexpensive. I'll put the name of it below because I can't remember it now, but that right there is the Kydex holster that I keep it in. It's in kind of this flat dark earth as well to go, around, go along with the theme of the pistol. All right, and now I do gotta back you up a little bit to show you what else I've got here, but uh, all right guys, and probably what you've all been waiting for right here, it is the Vertex Commuter. This thing right here is packed full of goodies, and I think you're, you're really gonna uh, like what you see inside. So right here is the Vertex Commuter. Uh, I think it's the 2.0, it's the newest version. Um, I've had this bag for about a year and a half-ish. It has held up amazingly well. You got a few rub marks, nothing excessive on it. Uh, a couple of things I do love about it. One, it is a sling mount, so it's not a full backpack, which makes it easier to uh, access your gear on the inside. It's got this front quick deploy pocket here, which you just grab this here and you pull it and it unzips. And you may be thinking to yourself, why are there Skittles? Why aren't there Skittles? So I keep Skittles, I keep um, kind of, or excuse me, Cliff Bars in here. I keep a bunch of different stuff like that strictly for my diabetes. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I'm a diabetic. If my sugar is to drop low, I do need to have quick and easy access to sugar. So I keep those in my bag with me at all times. So I always have something. Now, when you're wearing the bag and you pull it from your back around to the front, this is how it lays on your, across your body. Okay, so from this side here, this right here is a nice big deep pocket that has um, a, a few different uh, pockets and stuff that you can you kind of organize your gear a little bit. So I'll start from this side and work my way over here. Right here is a Glock 17 mag. Um, this magazine right here is, um, I don't know if that was in focus, but um, I've got it filled with Hornady Critical Defense. Next up, I've got a Gerber um, Suspension NXT. Uh, it's a great little uh, multi-tool. Uh, it's got just kind of everything you know you might need if you're out there and you need to uh, you know fix something or repair something. All right, next up is my uh, favorite flashlight. This is the Streamlight uh, ProTac 2 LX. Uh, this thing is extremely bright. It works really well. It's got, um, you can store it in your pocket or in my case in here like this, you can also store it on your hat uh, so you can wear it like the other flashlight. But I love it. It's got the rear um, push button on it. Uh, whereas on the flashlight here, I will say in the dark, it is a little bit hard to find the uh, power button. It's kind of down here and uh, it's kind of opposite of the charging. So sometimes you're pressing on the charger realizing it's on the other side. So there's that. Um, but this right here is a great flashlight. It's super bright. I love this thing. Next up is a candy bar. 
Uh, this is a 33 round um, Glock magazine. Uh, it is full with Hornady Critical Defense. So as you can see, the Hornady Critical Defense. Um, next up is a 30 round PMAG of 300 blackout. Uh, this magazine here um, is a 30 round PMAG. It's, it doesn't have the window in it. I do like them with windows, although I don't think I really own any. I got a bunch of these on special one day. All right, and then you've got a zipper pocket as well. In that zipper pocket, I've got another Glock 17 magazine. In this one, I actually have uh, just your standard target ammo, uh, but it is a Glock 17 mag full of target ammo. When I go to the range, I typically just bring this one here, and uh, that way I can keep my critical defense and my other magazines, and I have one specifically for uh, range magazine, or excuse me, target ammo. Next up is my PMAG uh, 20. This is also 300 blackout, obviously. So we got nine millimeter and 300 blackout. So we have what, uh, 17 rounds of nine millimeter, 17 rounds of nine millimeter, and 33 rounds of nine millimeter, then a 30 round PMAG, and a 20 round PMAG of 300 blackout. And that is pretty much all I keep in this pocket. Uh, back in the days of when COVID was big and I was traveling to and from work, I did uh, keep extra masks and stuff like that in here. Uh, I do have a separate bag that I have for a medical and trauma kit. All right, next up is the back uh, pocket here. So it has this quick strap. So let's uh, just imagine this is mounted to my body. I've swung it around and I've got it here. You can grab this tab and rip it open. And now you have access to the good stuff. So here we go. All right, guys, in the back compartment of this bag right here, I keep two really awesome things. I do want to say there is a ton of padding in the back of this backpack here, so you do not feel it when it does on your back. I've had another backpack where I could feel everything that was back there, and it made it really uncomfortable. This one is super, super comfortable. So first up, we have a Gen 5 Glock 17. So this is the new Gen 5. Uh, this isn't the first Gen, Gen 5. And I gotta say, I've always been a huge fan of the blocky grip, but I absolutely love, love, love this uh, pistol. Uh, I have Glock 19s, but I think this is my new, my new favorite. So that goes in a little uh, holster right here. That's a Velcro holster. And then next up, we got this bad boy. So this right here is my 300 blackout with um, a seven inch barrel so this this rifle right here is my definitely my favorite it has sb tactical sba3 which i'm still not a huge fan of i mentioned the sba4 on my last video um, about my other 300 blackout and this one's got everything i love in a, in a rifle um, but it's um just got a few a few minor changes one is the seven inch barrel versus the eight and a half inch barrel so um it does fit in the bag a little bit better than the uh eight and a half inch did because i had the eight and a half inch in here originally so guys that is what i carry on a day-to-day -day basis all right guys that is it that is my everyday carry i hope you like the video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i try to respond to everyone whenever i can except for the trolls of course uh don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of this i plan on making a lot more videos i've got quite a few more uh firearms that i built from uh, rifles high power rifles to uh some rimfire stuff so uh, I've got a lot to show you, some new ARs, so definitely uh, subscribe, hit the uh, bell for notifications, and uh, be on the lookout for more videos.